Hey, keeping in the spirit of making videos for new gun owners, I want to make a video today about properly aligning your handgun sights. Now this video actually isn't just for new gun owners because I know people that have been shooting for quite a while who seem to be confused about how to properly align your handgun sights. I think this actually became an issue when you started seeing less and less just plain iron sights and you started seeing more with three dot patterns, crazy eight patterns, night sights, etc. When you started having those little dots on your front sight is when people started being confused about how to properly align those front sights. Because of that dot now being so prevalent on front sights in one form or another, when people look at the actual target and they look at that bullseye, they want to put that dot on the front sight right on the bullseye. This is not the correct sight picture. The correct sight picture is to actually have the target above your front sight. The dots are just for aligning the front and rear sights. That's all they're for. When you properly align them, the top of the front sight and the rear sight should be aligned properly. The front sight should be in the center of the rear sights and your target should be sitting directly on that top plane of your center sight. The tops of the rear and the front sight should be aligning perfectly with the horizontal axis of the target. With the front sight being perfectly centered between the rear sight post and perfectly centered on the vertical axis of the target. The bullseye should look like a sunrise on the top of your front sight. This is a proper sight picture no matter what type of sight you have, whether it be three dot, crazy eights, a single front dot sight, it doesn't matter, this is a proper sight alignment. Now I know this is where some people are gonna be like, well, I've been doing it the other way for years and I'm gonna keep doing it cause it's just as good and there ain't no reason why I can't do it. Well, there is no reason why you can't do it because it's your gun. You can do what you want with it. You can use it as butt floss for all I care, but there's a reason why you shouldn't align your sights the incorrect way. Let's say you're having to shoot at a target. Let's think of something very serious here. Let's say a werewolf. You don't get much more serious than a werewolf, but let's say this werewolf is not right up on you. He's kind of at a distance as werewolves sometimes tend to be. Well, let's say you have to now shoot at this werewolf at distance. Now, some people are going to say, well, why would I shoot at him while he's at distance? Why wouldn't I wait for him to get closer to me? Well, for one, I don't know if you want a werewolf to get that close to you. And two, let's say he's out at distance and he's about to eat your baby. Under these circumstances, do you wait for him to eat your baby and then get closer to you? No, I don't think you do. I think you're going to want to take the werewolf out now. So let's see what it looks like if you aim your firearm with a proper sight picture at that werewolf at distance. As you can see, when you aim center of mass, you can still see the werewolf. Get away from her, you bitch! You can actually see where your bullet is hitting. If you aim your firearm with the improper alignment where the dot is actually on the target, whoops, where'd the werewolf go? You can't even see him anymore. For all you know, he has now moved over a little bit and he is now currently eating your baby. So as you can see, there's no reason why you can't align your sights the improper way, but there's a reason you shouldn't. If you don't care if your baby gets eaten by a werewolf, go ahead, keep aligning your sights to where the front dot is on the target. That's up to you. But if you care about your baby, sight your pistol the proper way.